Yo, what is up, Passive Game Insurance Pro, and welcome back to another video. So, today we're doing another League of Legends guide, this time also for another top laner, or at least one champion that can be played top lane. It is Nidalee AD Bruiser top lane in preseason 8. So, yeah, let's just jump right into the guide. I'm gonna be going over the build and wounds and some quick tips at the end of the video. So, I hope you all enjoy. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. Okay, so let's just get right into the build. Uh, for the starting items, you're almost always gonna be wanting to go Doran's Blade, a pot, and a trinket. Uh, the reason why you wanna go Doran's Blade is because you're most likely gonna be be able to poke your lane opponent out if you're not, and you're facing someone that you know you're going to lose the lane to. Maybe you want to go Doran's Shield, uh, or even a d corrupting potion. Uh, for the next items, you're always going to be wanting to go with Sheen as the first option. Uh, you could get another Doran's Blade or a Doran's Shield if you feel like you're struggling in lane and you just want to get it through a lot easier, but the Sheen is what you're, is what you're going to be wanting to aim for. Uh, after that, most likely you're going to want a Frozen Gauntlet, uh, but if you are facing an AP top laner, and then I mean an AP carry, not a AP tank, uh, you're gonna be wanting to get Spear Visage before the Frozen Gauntlet. And the, if you did go with the Spear Visage, then after that you wanna go with Gauntlet and then Run with Omen. If the, you did go with the uh, Frozen Gauntlet uh, first, then you're gonna be wanting to go with Run with Omen and then Spear Visage. Uh, for your next items, uh, there's a lot of optional uh, things. Uh, you could go with Thorn Mail, if they have a lot of AD and a lot of auto attacks, I usually go with that item a lot. Uh, you could go Deadman's Plate as well, because it really synergizes with your Q and your auto attacks. Uh, Guardian Angel could also be good against AD comps. If you don't have a lot of pushing, you could also go with Wits End or Caesar Rot. Uh, I would recommend Wits End with the pushing, if they have a lot of magic damage in, uh, over what's called uh, physical damage. And then, if they have a lot of CC, you could also go with the QSS upgrade. Uh, for the boots, I would almost recommend, uh, always recommend uh, Nina Tabes or Merc Treads, uh, depending on what team comp the enemy has. If they have a lot of auto attacks and a lot of AD, Nina Tabes is the best. And if they have a lot of Merc Treads, uh, or not Merc Treads, if they have a lot of AP or CC, you want to go with Merc Treads. Uh, for the consumables, uh, you're always going to be wanting to buy Elixir of Iron, not Elixir of Wrath or Elixir of Sorcery. And you could always get a refillable potion or a, a what's called a corrupting potion in lane if you feel like you need it. For the ability order, you're always going to want to max your R first when you can, then your E, then your Q, then your W. The E for the attack speed buff on yourself when you heal, and then the Q because you want to uh, be able to take people down a lot easier with your melee queue. Now let's go over the runes for the build. Uh, for AD in Italy, top, you're gonna be wanting to get Glacial Augment as your keystone under the inspiration tree. The reason why I want this keystone is because the slow really synergizes with your Q and your uh, ranged autos is gonna be able to slow it very easily. So if you slow and then you're, you throw your Q, it can be a really good combo and then it's gonna be really hard from them for them to escape, especially when you got Frozen Gauntlet. Uh, for the next rune, you're gonna want perfect timing, uh, so that you get your free stopwatch. Uh, the biscuit delivery could also be nice, uh, but uh, the st free stopwatch is really nice since you're gonna want to dive in a lot, and if they do focus you and you do get low, you can just use the stopwatch and then heal again after it when it's over. Uh, for the next rune, you're gonna want Future Smart. Futures market since minion determinalizer is really really bad or not really that great I should say and magical footwear could be good But not having boots before 10 minutes could sometimes be really sad and uh, What's even sadder is when you miss you when you are missing like 70 gold for an item So yeah, that's why it's really get, uh, great to get the future market uh, so that you can enter depth uh, for the next one is uh, for the next uh, rune, I should say, you're gonna want Cosmic Insight to get the CDR. And yeah, there's not anything else to say about that. Uh, for the next path you're gonna want to go down is Sorcery. And in Sorcery, you're gonna want Ultimate Hat and Transcendence. The Ultimate Hat uh, you're gonna want because the Ultimate Cooldown 
if you could swap around a lot uh, more it's gonna be really great because then it's gonna be a lot harder for the enemy to escape from you and transcendence is really nice to fill up that uh, CDR that you're missing and plus uh, when you do hit level 10 you're gonna have uh, 70 or not 70 <laughs> sorry I'm tired uh, you're gonna have 30 percentage uh, cooldown reduction considering if you or counting that you have a sheen already at that point so you're gonna have 30 percent cooldown reduction on your ultimate then and maybe a bit more since you have the ultimate hat and you're gonna stack that up now it is time that we wrap up this video and before I do that though I'm gonna give you some tips when playing in the top lane. Uh, you're a range champion uh, for the most part, so that you are gonna be able to poke down your enemy a lot. Don't uh, underestimate your own damage, you do a lot of damage, but don't underestimate your opponent as well. Uh, and also your attack sp uh, or your E gives you attack speed, you're go really gonna consider that when you uh, use it, and that's why you're, max it. you're gonna max it. Uh, don't just go ahead and max something else because the attack speed is really important. Uh, don't try and roam a lot in the early game because uh, if you do, you're probably gonna fall behind. You could go for some she's, she's invades in the enemy jungle, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it uh, uh, for this video. Sorry for that. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty much it for this video. If you want to see any other guides, leave a like. If you want to see any specific guide, uh, mostly for the top lane because that's what I mean uh, just leave a comment on the video and yeah that's pretty much it I hope you all enjoyed thanks for watching and stay tuned for more